Hello Star Wars fans, or I should say Mandalorian fans. Thank you so much for tuning in to today. We have, I should have her in front here, the Cara Dune Battle Pack. No, I'm just kidding. It is the ATST Raider. And here we go, the menacing Raider, or ATST Raider, which be really cool I don't have it yet maybe another video in the future have the um, the red lighting for the eyes that are glowing and are menacing to the uh, the village I forget the name of the planet but let's get into these figures if we, if we can we've got Cara Dune which is amazing the detailing even look at the teardrop eye it's got the rubble uh, rubble symbol there um, you know, I, I, I'd have to check the, the series and the, if the, the pants are fairly accurate. Um, I thought she would have boots, but I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's possible that this is accurate. Um, she did go sleeveless all the time. Maybe they could have put some arm printing with some muscles on there because she was the, the muscle as a rubble shock trooper in her, her life, um, during, in the, the rebel alliance. Um, there's some nice back printing. If you wanted to go angry Cara Dune mode, there she is. If not, regular Cara Dune. Sweet, soft, and funny. Probably not the best actor of all time, but I thought the character was fantastic. So with her being canceled, it's kind of a bummer for the Mandalorian fans. And, uh, you know, I guess we'll have to make do um, as season three uh kicks off next year all right there we go whoops there we go put her aside then of course it came with the man himself and it, i think still at this point he was still rolling with his dura steel um armor so this is very appropriate probably could be a little bit a little bit better, but again, it would be nitpicking, um, and I think his rifle could be a little bit better, but it's not a bad depiction. It's fairly close and accurate to the Bonnie Hunter rifle. Um, not much to go on from the back. And of course, even though he almost gave it away, he refused when Cara Dune asked. He didn't give away his face, so it would be appropriate not to give him a face quite yet. Maybe someday we will, um, but you never know. So that's Mandalorian, and then there was two Clatoonian, and I'm probably butchering it, um, raiders. So they were the raging, raiding on the villages. Here's guy number one. Didn't have any back head printing, but again, very, you know, he's kind of like a warrior type, indigenous warrior guy with technology. They They scored somehow or salvaged and got this guy right here to work so they were they had the upper hand in the village with this uh, ATST raider in the village not having the technology to fight back um, here's the other warrior right here he doesn't really have any head printing has pretty much the same back print as the other one just slight recoloring I like the helmet in the shoulder pad that's pretty cool and so here's a good full shot of the ATST Raider, which ultimately, let me bring this guy over one second here, is a near identical clone to the Imperial version. It's really just a recolor, which makes sense, right? Because this was basically a salvaged. ATST from the Empire and they just kind of made it their own so there aren't very many differences there's only um, a couple slight changes from here um, there's a missing shield here here's the the back this is probably where most of the differences are I thought the Mandalorian ATST did a good job with some extra detailing in here. This area is um, a little bit narrower. Let me get a better 
angle here. It's narrower with a little bit more detail, but it's a little bit nicer. Um, maybe not quite as stable as the original, but um, you know, it definitely. I think it, they kind of wanted to go for a little bit more of a menacing, you know, thicker base look overall. So it does a really good job. Uh, the cockpit itself, whoa, there that guy goes. Do that here. Oh, look at that pilot guy. What do you know? He's in there. They have a little bit nicer of a targeting system. So that one's okay on the ATST -AT -AT radar. And then that one's a little bit more significant. You can see that in there. It's a little bit nicer. And then they've got little detonators. So instead they put a little pistol section there instead. So overall, um, I really, whoop, there he goes. Close him in there. I really love this set. I've I had it from the very beginning. So as soon as this came out, I was all over it. I actually was all over this one too and got a really good deal. Another video, another time. So um but wow, four pretty solid figures, a great build for $50. So get the Cara Dune Battle Pack while you can before this thing gets retired, which it's you know rumored to be on its way out. So get it soon before they start clearing space for those space in the shelves for those uh, summer sets. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you're able to get your hands on one of these or maybe uh, stack up on a few for those who are investing and uh, hold on to it for a good couple of years at some point. New fans of The Mandalorian are going to want this set, and the only way to get her is going to be through this set, So, or buying her individually, and so this is going to be a BrickLink store's dream with some of the, all these unique parts, And because uh, you could build the Imperial version with a couple changeovers, or you could build this one, no problem. And then, of course, Cara Dune, and you can't beat Mando. And, uh, you know, these aren't bad little army building because there were more than just the two of them on the raid. So if you're doing a full raid scene, grab up one of these, grab a couple of them. It's the Cara Dune Battle Pack. So with that, thank you so much. I hope you can subscribe, like, or just watch the content. That's all I ask, and that is amazing. And, you know, tune in. We will have Microfighter Monday. We have a lot of non-Star Wars. We have Star Wars live streams coming up, uh, especially in the end of March. We'll be doing a lot of streaming. So stay tuned and thank you so much. Bye for now.